हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर अगेन इन द प्रीवियस स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट प्रोजेक्शन फार्मूलाज प्रायोरिटी रूल्स एंड ई एंड जी नमन क्लेचर ऑफ एल्कीस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न आर एंड एस नमन क्लेचर ऑफ कायरल सेंटर स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ अ कायरल सेंटर इज डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर एंड एस कन्फिग्रेशन फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ एब्सलूट कन्फिग्रेशन that is r and s configuration a chiral molecule should be drawn either as perspective or fisher projection formula now first we will discuss rules for r and s nomenclature when molecule drawn as perspective formula the steps for the determination of r and s configuration are determine the priority of atoms or groups bonded to the chiral center and label them as 1 2 3 and 4 if the lowest priority group that is group 4 is bonded by a hatched wedge then draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 if the arrow points clockwise then the center has r configuration if the arrow points counter clockwise then the center has s configuration if the lowest priority group is not bonded by a hatched wedge then make double interchange first between 4 and the group bonded by the hatched line hatched wedge second between the remaining two groups draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 if the arrow points clockwise then the center has r configuration if the arrow points counter clockwise then the center has s configuration now we will do some exercise for more clarification suppose we have lactic acid represented by perspective formula for the determination of absolute configuration first label the groups attached to the chiral center according to their priorities priority of oh is 1 carboxylic acid is 2 methyl is 3 and h is 4 fourth priority group is on hatched wedge so there is no need for the interchange draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 since the direction of arrow is counter clockwise so configuration will be s let's have lactic acid represented by perspective formula like this repeat the steps to find out the configuration means first label the groups attached to the chiral center according to their priorities as 1 2 3 and 4 fourth priority group is on hatched wedge so there is no need for the interchange draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2 since the direction of arrow is clockwise so configuration will be r let's have lactic acid represented by perspective formula like this to find out configuration label the groups attached to the chiral center according to their priorities priority of oh is 1 carboxylic acid is 2 methyl is 3 and h is 4 here the fourth priority group is not on hatched wedge so there is need to do double interchange first between the fourth priority group and the group on the hatched wedge and second between the two remaining groups for doing double interchange for the determination of absolute configuration you don't need to draw the groups around the chiral center you just draw a skeleton like the way in the original molecule and then put only priorities on their respective bonds after double interchange one will be on solid wedge four on hatchway 
2 on slant solid line and 3 on standing solid line. Now draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration will be R. Now let's have few more examples. Example A. Label the groups attached to the chiral center according to their priorities. Priority of bromine is 1, carboxylic acid is 2, methyl is 3 and H is 4. The fourth priority group is on hatched wedge, so there is no need for the interchange. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the configuration will be S. Example B. In this formula, at the chiral center, hatched wedge with the hydrogen is missing. So, add missing hatched wedge with the hydrogen. Determine the priorities and label the groups as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration will be R. Example C. Here, at the chiral center, solid wedge with hydrogen is missing. So, add missing hydrogen and then label the groups attached to the chiral center according to their priorities. Priority of Cl is 1, ethyl is 2, methyl is 3 and H is 4. The fourth priority group is not on hatched wedge, so there is need to do double interchange. First between the fourth priority group and the group on the hatched wedge and second between the two remaining groups. For doing double exchange, for the determination of configuration, you don't need to draw the groups around the chiral center. You just draw a skeleton like the way in the original molecule and then put only priorities on their respective bonds after double exchange. So after double exchange, one will be on solid wedge, four on hatched wedge, two on right solid line and three on left solid line. Draw an arrow from one to three via two. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration will be R. Now we will take the examples of molecules with two chiral centers. This is one of the stereoisomers of 3-bromo-2-butanol. In this, we have to determine configuration of both the stereo centers C2 and C3. For this, let's first consider C2. Label the groups based on their priorities. OH is priority 1, bromoethyl is 2, methyl is 3, and H is 4. Priority 4 is an hatched wedge, so there is no need of interchange of groups. Now, draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration of C2 is R. Now, let's consider C3. Label the groups based on their priorities. Bromo is priority 1, hydroxyethyl is 2, methyl is 3, and H is 4. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration at C3 will be R. Thus, we can name this molecule as 2R3R3-bromo-2-butanol. Let's take another example 
one of the stereo isomer of 3 chlorobutane 2 amine. In this, we have to determine configuration of both the stereo centers 2 and 3. Let's first consider C2. Label the groups based on their priorities. NH2 is priority 1, chloroethyl is 2, methyl is 3, and H is 4. Priority 4 is an hatched wedge, so there is no need of interchange of groups. Now, draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration will be R. Now, let's consider C3. Label the groups based on their priorities. Cl is priority 1, aminoethyl is 2, methyl is 3, and H is 4. On this center, fourth priority group is not on hatched wedge. So, there is need to perform double interchange. First, between 1 and 4, and second, between 2 and 3. To accomplish this, just draw the skeleton with the chiral center and put the priorities on their respective bonds after double interchange. So, 1 will be on solid wedge, 4 on hatched wedge, 2 on slant solid line and 3 on horizontal solid line. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the configuration at C3 will be S. Thus, we can name this compound as 2R3S 3-chlorobutane 2-amine. Let's have some examples of cyclic compounds. Example A. In this, we have to determine absolute configuration of chiral center shown by the star. Here, hatched wedge with the hydrogen is missing. So, first add hatched wedge with the hydrogen. As usual, label the groups based on their priorities as 1, 2, 3 and 4. The fourth priority group is on hatched wedge. So, there is no need for the interchange of groups. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the absolute configuration of this molecule will be S. Example B. In this molecule 2, the hatched wedge with the hydrogen is missing. So, add hatched wedge with the hydrogen. The priority of the groups around the chiral center will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Fourth priority is on hatched wedge, so there is no need for the interchange of groups. Draw the arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the absolute configuration will be R. Now we are going to discuss determination of absolute configuration if chiral center is present on the ring fusion. For this we will take the example of 2 decalone derivative. There are two chiral centers 4A and 8A. For the determination of absolute configuration of 4A, first label the groups attached to the center according to their priorities as 1, 2, 3 and 4. In a perspective formula, two groups are on solid line, one on solid wedge and one on hatched wedge. Now make a flying wedge skeleton with one center. Fourth priority group is on solid wedge. So, if you put 
1 and 2 on solid line, 3 will automatically go to the hatch wedge. So the flying wedge formula will be like this. Since fourth priority is not on hatched wedge, so make double interchange first between 3 and 4 to bring 4 on hatched wedge and second between 1 and 2. Now in the flying wedge formula 4 will be on hatched wedge, 3 on solid wedge, 1 on slant solid line and 2 on a standing solid line. Draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the configuration of at 4A will be S. For the determination of absolute configuration of 8A, label the groups attached to the center according to their priorities as 1, 2, 3 and 4. In a perspective formula, two groups are on solid line, one on solid wedge and one on hatched wedge. Now, make a flying wedge a skeleton with one center. Fourth priority group is on hatched wedge. So, if you put 1 and 2 on solid line, 3 will auto automatically go to the solid wedge. So, orientation of groups in the flying wedge formula will be like this. Since the fourth priority is on hatched wedge, so there is no need for the interchange of the groups. Now, draw an arrow from 1 to 2 via 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the configuration at 8A will also be S. Suppose we have 1 bromo 3 chlorocyclohexane given in chair form like this. We need to determine absolute configuration at two chiral centers. First, we will do numbering of cyclohexane as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. There are two chiral centers at C1 and C3. For this, we will first convert it into perspective formula. If you view the molecule like this, the cyclohexane skeleton will look like this. On C1, put H on solid wedge because it is coming towards you and Br on hatched wedge because it is going away from you. At C3, put Cl on solid wedge because it is coming towards you and H on hatched wedge because it is going away from you. Now, let us determine the configuration at C1. Label the groups based on their priorities as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here, the fourth priority is not on hatched wedge. So, perform double interchange. First between 1 and 4 to bring 4 on hatched wedge. And second between 2 and 3. After exchange, in the perspective formula, 4 will be on hatched wedge, 1 on solid wedge, 2 on slant solid line and 3 on a standing solid line. Now draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration is R. For the determination of configuration at C3, label the groups based on their priorities. as 1, 2, 3 and 4. The fourth priority is on hatched wedge. So draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. Since the direction of arrow is clockwise, so the configuration at C3 will be R. That's it for this lecture. Please don't forget to watch the next lecture in which we will be discussing determination of RS configuration when molecule is in fissure production.